Hello everyone, welcome to the second gameplay recording from the Wally of Prayer. Even though we've recently released another episode which took place on this map, we simply had to share with you this one because our opponents, Gareth aka Coco No Nuts and Broth84 from the community played exceptionally well, which as you will see will lead to some very interesting and entertaining moments. As usual though, I'm joined here by Shumi, who's playing as my ally. Hello Shumi. Yes, hello. Hello everyone, hello watching people, hello Deranix, and thank you for the nice introduction. You are very welcome. Uh, this time around we're gonna go for a little bit of a different strategy, because as mentioned before, uh, our opponents will be very good as well as uh, the previous ones. Uh, and we will try to go for a combination of uh, research-focused gameplay and uh, military-focused gameplay. I guess our regular viewers will already know who's gonna go for what. But Shumi, could you yes. could you explain a little further who's gonna try to do what? Of course, I'm going for the reason. No, I'm joking. I'm of course <laughs> going for the military, and Daranix on the other hand is going for the um, research. Now, talking about the military, I'm not going that I'm destroying my whole economy just to go for units. No, I will keep a healthy economy which will uh, grant me a nice late game, while the Ranix will get stronger and stronger by uh, each research he is making. And if with just 10 units, he will be probably be able to kill a cohort of enemies. Well, that, that's that's what I'm hopeful for. <laughs> but uh, this, this idea is actually made so that uh, we have some sort of strength in the early game as well as in the middle game, mid game, so to say, uh, with Shumi being able to be aggressive and take down, uh, well, take take care of the opponents, make them make them fight their fights, just earn their, their territory and stuff like that. Uh, while I will be also producing some army to support him, but my focus will be elsewhere. My focus will mainly be on the research as mentioned. And I'm gonna try to go for all the damage bonuses and uh, damage reduction bonuses because there are plenty of lakeside areas and trees and stuff like that, uh, which can grant you a lot of advantage uh, if you uh, if you use the uh, research correctly i will actually point that out when i get to it yes and i as you see right now i have my military production pretty much set up i'm waiting for the enough uh, wood for the um, iron mines and then i can start with some units yeah shumi's position is actually exceptional for the build he's building right now you can see that his sawmills are following the path that is somewhat leading down the hill, because his regrowing forest, as he's shown before, is really mm -hmm. close by down the hill, and uh, the carriers won't take as much time to bring these logs uh, up, up the hill. Uh, so these sawmills can be used uh, even later throughout the match uh, from these regrowing, uh, regrowing forests, and that's that's very good. That will save him a lot of materials, so he won't have to because we hope he won't have to uh, build more sawmills down at the beach side which yes. uh, which uh, however won't be the case for me because my regrowing forest is pretty far away uh, you might guess you might say that it looks um, well not very fair uh, but uh, the enemies who are on the northern side of the map they they have spawned in very spawned in very uh, similar um, conditions situation. yeah yes. situation um, by the way uh, this was the first time you could hear some clicking noise uh, and there was actually a time skip mentioned in the top left corner of my recording right now. Uh, because this match was pretty long, we took some time, uh, it needs to be trimmed, it needs to be edited so that it is not two hours long or something like that. And yes, therefore, but it was also long for a reason, it was a really hard and oh good yeah. game. It was a really really hard game. Although, uh, we can already see that Shumi is way more aggressive than I am. I have some units, I am getting out, but Shumi is already out at this point and he's going to attack the enemy and make him pay for getting the middle as soon as they did. I think they have even rushed the middle, didn't they? They didn't rush the middle, no. They, they rushed the army. Really? So they... Yes. Oh, okay, so did it say, they didn't sneak past those... No. Uh, uh, those bandits, because no. you can do that. We've mentioned, uh, we've mentioned it yes. on the, uh, in the And if you're thinking recording. that I'm stupid, uh, that I'm fighting one against two and they have a bigger army, I 
said that I did not destroy my econ economy and more furthermore I actually did some research yeah something I knew they did not do because they were there so quickly that they had no time to yeah. do all of this by the way and uh, some of you might have noticed that Shumi has uh, somewhat separated his uh, melee units his guardians and some of them were actually focusing the uh, Turkey's archers. That play, that's that's the macroing, minimaxing your units, uh, which which makes a huge difference. It, it he was able to kill so many units just bef just because this little mm, macro control. Yes. And now with my improved units, I have maybe the same unit production but s stronger units are coming out i will be hit and running my opponents so that they don't feel so happy having the middle and they will exactly. have to earn the right to stay there exactly so you can see shumi being aggressive while i am already expanding to get to the gold to get to the stone which is close by this area i was just claiming my academy is going up a little a little uh, later than Shumi's actually. That's yes. because my ac academy won't be focused on the military research at first. It will be focused on uh, the citizens and on the administration. Uh, these are the guilds which needs to be unlocked by a lot more resources, a lot more um, materials because you need 10, uh, 10 tools and some additional materials combined with, th with that. Uh, and you will then, only then, have the access to some extra, some more, um, well, so to say, mm, restricted areas of the academy. <laughs> yes. And I, for now, have uh, a perfect production of uh, of military. I am already also going for the uh, uh, for the healers down below. I have some gems, and soon enough, I will be going for harbor. That is my 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 plan for this game. I want to have a huge uh, animal production. I wanted to say unit production. No animals invo involved in my studies. <laughs> All right, <laughs> that's funny. Um, so, my goal now uh, is just to mention something a little different, not necessar necessarily regarding this match uh, in particular, but as some of you might uh, might have noticed, uh, we've mentioned that there was a tournament during the last weekend. We wanted to express a huge thank you to the Ubisoft representatives who helped us uh, with the organization and uh, actually gave us some uh, some prizes for the winners. Our top three winners of the tournament have uh, actually received some s smaller prizes like uh, shard boosters, but they've also received some uh, physical cups, physical the settlers cups to drink from, and I think that is absolutely awesome. Ubisoft went out of their way. To give this to our to our participants and i'm very thankful for it it just shows that even though this this game had and has some issues with the performance and something like that there are still a lot of a lot of passionate people uh, behind the project and they they really want to be part of the community and we love it and also there are people who love the game and still want to play it the tournament was a huge success everyone who played in it really said that they liked playing in it yes and i think we will have more tournaments now that being said that tournament took a lot of time to prepare and to make it that's why you haven't seen a video for a while now for a yeah. longer while than normally yeah, yeah. I, I believe it's like eight days since uh, the last upload uh, so it's not that bad but still some apologies on our side <laughs> that's twice the duration yeah yeah Shumi is already finishing all his military research. That is that is fast. Well, it's 30, it? 30 30 minutes. 31st minute, but but it is it is somewhat fast. Yeah, you need gold for one of them. Ah, oh, they've killed my archer who was surveying the area. I actually like that like that archer. He was very helpful there. Yeah, I believe I'm going to send some more that way. <laughs> I think you will, yeah. Alright, I can see that you are not expanding that aggressively. You are building the tower close by your area, actually. Yes, are, you, uh, are you worried that they're gonna attack? No, I wanted the stone. I wanted to have a sure pla place for the stone. And ah. that's why I'm building those two towers. I see, I see. Yeah. yeah, I will also go for the gold. I'm actually quite angry that, I did, that they didn't go the gold way to attack me. Because that would have been such a such an easy way to attack mm -hmm. uh, and I was ready for it uh, yeah. well one of my plans just didn't get used I'll get a hundred more 
Yeah, you need to you need to have more things up your sleeves, right? Yes. All right. You can see that I I've expanding uh, expanded the little circle to the to the northern side of my of my screen right there uh, at my military. That's why uh, this is the place where I I want to build a warehouse at. Uh, it will actually connect connect perfectly to the wood production that I'm having. It will be connected to the stone production, and yeah. there will be gold as well. And now, what will you use the gold for? Yeah, I'm gonna try because it's not used as much as it should have been. I think uh, I'm gonna try to go for the gold units. I'm gonna try to go for the arbalists. Yes. As opposed to the uh, Brune units who are good for uh, building destroying. Yes. Arbalists are spe special units who are um, ranged Let's units. They have roughly the same damage and health as the rangers, but they have a skill. They can do an area of effect damaging skill, which uh, looks cool and is, if you have multiple Arbalests, quite powerful. Yeah, that's true. That's absolutely true. And... Uh, the thing I wanted to, uh, to add to that is Arbalists are actually specific to Elari if you if you don't know what that is. That is a faction I'm playing currently. Uh, Shumi is playing Yorn. Uh, Shumi also said that he's gonna go for uh, for gold in the future so therefore I think he's gonna build some... Uh, what, what are they called? Um, Berserkers. Berserkers, yeah. These are special units who are specific for Yorn faction and they're... Don't they're... spoil. Don't spoil. Oh, okay, I'm not gonna spoil, but their ability is different, and you're gonna see it in action. Thank you. Right, once more, top left corner, you can see the time skipped by 4 minutes, and uh, we are actually in the 37th minute uh, throughout this match, and the first action is gonna take place soon, I believe. Yes. I'm only now going for the gems. I believe you have gems for ages by now. I, I have healers right now, I think I had 5 healers already, yeah. and maybe 2 researchers. Yeah, yeah, the thing you want to go for uh, on this map actually is you want to expand to this wood production down the hill really fast because this, these regrowing trees, if you build a lot of production connected to them, it's a huge advantage. It boosts your economy so much. Yes, it's actually necessary because you will yeah. not have tr uh, wood <laughs> after a, a while yeah. and you need it in order to go into the late game. Yeah, I'm just now, only now, going for uh, the research build. It is late, it is 40th minute, but you need a lot of tool, tools for the research. And you need to boost this tool, tool making with the berries. And I've secured the berries with a tower right now, so I feel pretty confident. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe you are just trying to trying to get the enemies in the middle right now, but my troops to the south from your screen, uh, below your screen, are a little lazy. They are kind of mm. taking their time to join you. I thought, yes. <laughs> yeah, it yes. took me so yes, much. Did. It took me so long to realize. <laughs> yes, w what also happened in this game, a bit of meta, meta gaming there. Uh, we were on the same Discord as our opponents, so we couldn't have spoken to each other that we are yeah. attacking <laughs> because yeah. they would have known that too. We could only ping on the minimap, that's all. Yes, yes, th and that's what we used. Yeah, that's why I kind of slept, <laughs> overslept here. But one part of my army is actually going the other way and it is the bigger part of it. Mm -hmm. Yes, I also used, uh, used this part of this army. Actually, that's all, the, uh, that's all of my army, or most of my army just to um, bait them out a little bit, use them, yeah. use their time, because I saw the second army of the um, and I wanted to use it. I was hoping you were. <laughs> <laughs> hurts. Always yeah. having your back. Yeah, the thing is, uh, you can't you can't recall your units, because some most of you probably know that you can recall your units uh, once, once, I believe, like every five minutes. Uh, the mm -hmm. U, little U button uh, in the UI down on the screen right now. It allows you to recall your units on a finished building uh, in your territory. Which uh, the blue player could have probably done by now. But you can't do so when your units are uh, in combat. And mm -hmm. most of the, his units were in combat. So he only managed to teleport uh, to recall these three that are just underneath, underneath this tower. I could have just rushed under it. Yes. And, and Gareth, is, if you're watching, did you not turn off did you not turn off the um the autocast on these towers and uh uh and the decoy? I believe you did not. 
And that's 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 a big no no man. <laughs> we we will soon see if he did. Oh yeah. In that's fact true. in this game. That's true, that's true. But uh, my goal, my general goal right now, is not to kill him. I know that the Turkish player could have recalled and he's coming to his aid. So I just want to interrupt his production. I want to slow him down. I want to make a mess. That's why I'm sending my guys all over the place and just making some noise. And I'm already building some production in the ba in the uh, background uh, as well. So I'm just I'm just trying to establish some economic uh, advantage, so to say. Yeah. Yeah. That's what and I'm going also for. Also, eaten some time, they will have to rebuild that somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah. We also now have some uh, information how his economy looks like. Yes. I might de de um, deduce from that that he may have some uh, some uh, carrier problem. Not mm. too many houses right there. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure of that. I think he has some. And uh, yeah, it's time and some information that you've won there. And also he uh, he had to recall his units, which gave us actually this gave us the middle. By the way, I just realized that you can't see my my cursor. I'm a, I oh. apologize. I apologize for that. I've got a little little recording trouble, but I'm gonna figure it out. I believe. <laughs> Let well, at least we see the clicks. Yeah, yeah. It, it, I, it didn't even occur to me so far. Uh, Th that is now the way how you differentiate our recordings. Mine has a cursor. <laughs> yeah, you're also controlling the orange units and you're going for something very cheeky right now. <laughs> the thing is, the Turkish player have built his production very close to the edge of the cliff. And I'm not sure whether these regular units are able to throw their torches at the buildings. Some of them are, but not, not at that. Oh, uh, yeah. But those siege units might. Yeah, the siege units have, uh, have a, a slightly longer attack range, uh, or siege yeah. range. And uh, not everything, but they can destroy a few buildings over the yeah. edge. You're healing the the announcements all over the place because I've separated uh, separated all my last few remaining units and I'm just trying to run all over the place, scare scare the uh, the enemy settlers and just make some noise so they can't produce anything. Oh, and here is my first um, harbor, oh, my only harbor. I, I will not say I'll build a second one. Don't worry. Um, and what I plan to do with it, because I've gotten some gold, but not gold, n no gold production yet, and I don't want to go for it that quickly, it's expensive. Um, I will buy some gold ore, that's my, my plan, and from, what, what does it cost, 38, I think, gold per gold ore, I will make 100 gold per gold ore, which is, you know, a little bit more gold. Some advanced I've. tactics here, I like it. Yes. And that, that's what you call, uh, call investment. Oh yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. By the way, the thing you want to do right here, you can see that my, my stone mites are boosted by fish. Uh, that's because I'm not boosting my, my wood production anymore. I've got plenty of sawmills. I've got a lot of woodcutters because this regrowing forest allows you to build multiple of these and therefore they don't have to be boosted. And you can use all these fishes for boosting your stone production as well as uh, your research because you need fishes to research a lot of stuff. It's not that you need those uh, uh, this stone, you have 34 stone. Oh, but I will need it, believe me. <laughs> you have no idea how much gold production I want to build. <laughs> <laughs> But you, um, could see, you could see a thing that many people don't do and don't even realize is possible to do. Uh, I am just building, or I was just be beginning to build a second academy. Was that the second or the third? It was the second. The you second, actually, okay. yeah. Should we Not just bad. suggest a third one? And yeah, you want to go for a third one because see, there are actually three guilds you can you can unlock the administration, which, which you can see to the right side of uh, Shumi's UI right now. And uh, then if you click the little arrow in the top right side of the UI uh, of the academy, you will get the uh, to the civ citizens. Yeah, citizens it is called, and, and engineering. Mm -hmm. All of these. Yes are very equal, which is is very well balanced, I must say. There isn't a specific research line which you really want to go all the time. All, all of them are beneficial in, in something else, and it is it is great. <clears throat> and and uh, they are also beneficial on different maps. 
Like this yeah. map has huge lake sites, but if there are no lake sites, no salt 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 lakes. Whoa. Um, then there is one of I think administration. <coughs> you will be better at answering that. Um, that just uh, that gives you damage or damage reduction on those spots, and you just don't need it anymore. Not just that much. Let me address this just this decoy. I took my my time to build this one, and I'm building it to the site on purpose. Uh, you could probably say that the skin on the decoy is a little little bit pay to win because it is less apparent than the 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 regular decoys, and. Um, I'm hopeful that the enemy will actually miss that it's here. Oh, and you're going for the cheeky gameplay. Yeah, that I love it. That's awesome. Listening. I wonder if you'll actually manage to destroy it. It looks like you will, right? Yeah, they they're not defending it. <coughs> Simple job. I love also, it. you sometimes can destroy uh, his mines. Oh, they are defending it. Uh, you can sometimes destroy their mines too. Uh, I couldn't hear. Oh, yeah. uh, these units, by the way, uh, these uh, sieging throwing ones, they are actually... Uh, Shumi is not producing them, I believe. Uh, they come from... The middle. Yeah, from the middle. You received five, five of these? Yeah. Yes. Five of these per ten minutes uh, come from the middle, if you conquer, conquer it. The first person who's standing near the middle will receive them every, every single... every ten minutes. <clears throat> yeah. They are not good at fighting. They oh. have some upgrades in the academy, uh, but they are inside. good for just the strong. Did you see what the Turkish player just did? <clears throat> he just ran through your whole army because he targeted these research, yeah. um, uh, the siege units only. He yeah. just he just let you slaughter him. That yeah. that was painful to watch. And I'm still quite sure that I have some upper hand in... I actually am sure that I have an upper hand in research because they never took their gold. Oh, yeah. Uh, and so I'm, I'm quite fine with fighting a bit longer, not mm -hmm. too long. I don't want to lose the archers, but I think my archers are doing a better job than their archers are. And that's yeah, why yeah. I, I stay, oh, stay I love this. I love this tower. It ensures a lot of safety for you. Yeah, <laughs> I, you can, need, 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 you can. I needed some help. Yeah, you can see <laughs> Shumi pinging on the map. There was a little uh, sound to it connected. And yeah, I, I'm already sending some units to support his troops here. But my goal is not to focus on the middle. That's that's kind of his his uh, goal to focus yeah, on I it. I want to be the ass. Yeah, he, 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 he is aggressive. I'm not. I will, I will collect my army. I will try to rush through the side again, I think. Or not rush, just attack from it. I'm not aggressive, I'm full of love. I'm sending love. <laughs> yeah. I can build and you can My see archers me... are cupids. Yeah, you can see me expanding right now all over the place. I've got my gold production oh, going oh, and uh, my my general idea is try starting to starting to work, starting to get into notion, so to say. Because already I've got 20% uh, research, 20% uh, damage bonus researched on my uh, in my territory, mm -hmm. uh, which I need to expand a lot. I will also go for research with, which gives you 20 and then 40% uh, additional damage near lake sites. Mm -hmm. I will. I'm also researching the ooze, which I believe you already have. Uh, Ooze is an active skill that uh, the ritualist can use and it will actually allow you to slow the enemy very, very much. Uh -huh. I mean, the, the the strength in research is just such, so huge, so huge. Yes, but you see also the research is not something that you can do quickly. It's 50th minute of the game and uh, the running is probably not even half done with it. Yeah. Um, oh, I see how... it, Part of me is there. Mm, I could have been quicker. I had huge population issues during, like, in between, like, tenth to like twentieth minute. Did, did you skip that? Yeah, I've, I've skipped that because oh. that part wasn't interesting. Neither, neither from your side nor from mine side. There wasn't. Uh, there wasn't much happening. Uh, you, yeah, yeah. you've, uh, you, Good you've word. moved uh, to the middle. Uh, at the beginning, there was yeah. some battles. We've shown these, but there yeah. wasn't much, much, uh, much more to look at during yes. the next like ten minutes or so. Yeah, 
I, I want to po point out something. So you've seen the beginning of the game. It was a very uh, dare sided game. They they had the middle. I couldn't have taken the middle. They had more units. It's it kind of started shifting way, around look, look here. At, look at the blue arches right now, okay? See the herbalist and their AOE. Uh. It's only the AOE what, which did that. If I had more herbalists there, I would yeah. count like 15 to 20, all their archers would be dead, or at least half of them. Yeah. The AOE is but super But that was strong. still a good, good damage. Yeah, yeah. And maybe, uh, maybe it didn't count uh, that much here for the archers because they they moved back, but mm -hmm. the uh, front line front line units did uh, did get hit by it and they did mm -hmm. get hurt a lot. Yeah. By the AOE. I believe and you see, uh, we we mm -hmm. start taking a, a, an upper hand right here. Yeah. I think this is this is the turning point, and if they are not going to take the upper hand again, uh, I think they will just get overrun yeah. uh, sooner or later. For me, I, I believe this is the very first match which took that long on this map and I, I yeah. it was probably the best match I've ever played because I had the opportunity to really use the research. I These fights are awesome, we are mac macroing the units all over the place uh, except for me forgetting about these right now <laughs> and, and uh, just, you know, you can just enjoy everything this game offers. And the thing is... Uh, if you think this game is simple and is and it doesn't offer much variety, you are you couldn't be more wrong, because I've played this map so many so many times and I'm still not sure what's the best way of playing it. There are three maps for two v twos which are competitive, uh, where you can actually attack your opponents. Only three of them, and I, we've played them hundreds of times. And we're still not sure how to play them properly. Yeah. We're still learning. And the fourth map is... Imagine important. when Ubisoft uh, when Ubisoft releases the game on console, which is most probably the, the main uh, the main goal right now, that's that's taking taking so much of their time. But when they do so, they will start adding adding more maps. Imagine having like having like six six to ten maps for two v twos. That I believe like ten maps would be too much. Definitely, but also I I still hope they add uh, some rank ranked rank oh, yeah. yeah matchmaking games first ranked ranking ranked, ranked matchmaking yeah. rank rank mode yeah. Na name it as you wish I I really hope they add it because uh, well if I play against or uh, any any of us actually play against some random mm -hmm. people just want to uh, want a quick match mm -hmm. it genuinely is a quick match and it's not for the yeah. good of our opponents. Yeah. I'm just teasing the blue guy right now. I'm building a tower <laughs> right underneath his I nose to, to, to tame him underneath my tower. I and went... He had looked yeah, I attacked. went a little too too soon. I went in a little too soon with, soon with this recall. But still, I love it. I'm, ju I'm just enjoying, <laughs> enjoying it right now. You can see that I've got 21 Arbalists, 21 of the yeah. H, H uh, key spells the AOEs and I know I'm pretty sure that they can't compete with that. They just it will shred them. Howl. I, I will boost them with howl. I, I love the howl animation. Yeah, it's very well made. And let's go. Ah uh, they're they're retreating. I, I Oh I could mm. So I have either forgotten about it or I had trouble placing the the skill. That was now you did not for uh, may, uh, well you you did not try to. to play yeah, it. I didn't even try. That was my bad yeah. right there. You wanted <coughs> the H to to fire off. By the way, if you happen. wonder how many buffs my units have, look at the top left corner of the lower UI when I've got my units selected. For now, it's not as much as many. It's only three uh, or four uh, squares, green squares. It's one. Uh, it's one right now, yeah. But I'm gonna expand the research. I'm gonna expand my territory. By the way, you can see my coal going in from the from the mm, harbor right now. <laughs> yeah. And it, yeah, I love the the research game. But you are already 
all the way with these ranged units, right? Do you have them researched already? No, you don't. No, not yet. Mm, yeah. The research is, uh, is actually happening right now. I yeah. got, didn't do that yet. But I also just plan to maybe take some time. Yeah. Uh, the, sh the, the thing Shumi could have done, and I believe he will do that in the future, he could have sent uh, these healers a little closer yes. behind, uh, behind the ritual, not the rituals, behind the elementalists. Ele elementalists, yes, but I, uh, the, the healers actually have a very good range, yeah, and I have. was hoping that that would be enough, but it just wasn't. Now the other uh, tower destroying units are joining in, and yep. that should be enough. I believe they are. Um, they can withstand more damage, can't they? Um, they well, they have quite a lot of health, but mm -hmm. no, that's it's, they are not like the uh, the defenders. I yeah. think they have three hundred seventy-five. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If I should, if I still still be more than the elementalists. Yes. Well, no, the elementalists also have a lot of health, uh, more than the rangers who have two hundred and thirty-five. I think. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, and I Here also you see Shume throwing them. these numbers out again. Enemy <laughs> but, but Show me the I, number guy. I think it is also important to say that you can actually push like this if you if you don't have the ranged research because I feel like in many games people have actually come down to the situation where they always want to have the ranged research before they attack. I don't think it's necessary. You can do a lot of harm with, even without it. Yes, you, you just need to be sure that your army can do the harm, or you yeah. can withstand whatever your uh, opponent has to ro uh, throw at yeah. you. I'm, I'm combining mm. so many words today. I don't yeah, know what's yeah. what's going on. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm if I'm seeing correctly, but we've mentioned Gareth maybe not uh, mm, turning off the auto cast on on his towers, but did. Did the Turkey's player, uh, Broth, did he even use the, the abilities of the towers here? Uh, but he did not turn them off. Really? So they were on cooldown? Hmm. It was uh, on cooldown. I mean, no, the, the ability was shooting me. Really? Yeah, I didn't even notice. Seen. I didn't even notice. You, yeah, this is just a tease. I'm just teasing Gareth here. I'm building his gold mine. This is his gold. This is gold in, at his area. I have I have destroyed it immediately, but that was just a tease from my side. <laughs> I, uh, I I can also say what Daranik said at that moment. Oh, look at this gold. I guess I'll take it for me. Yeah, I, I, I had to enjoy it. I just had to. We were on the same voice chat. I had to. By the way, you can always join the community on Discord. Uh, because we are always uh, trying to stream these these matches. You can discuss with us. You can join. You can have some fun times if you if you just can't play or if you if you're for example at work and you can watch but you can't play. That's what for example Zath does. <laughs> yes. Yeah. We have one person from who is from Canada. So when we play, he is at work and he yeah. just comes uh, comes to us and, and keeps watching our games. I love it. Yeah, I love it. Also too. started uh, uh, recently, yesterday, yeah. two days ago, was the first game between one of us and Zath. It was yesterday. Yeah, it was an it awesome was game. Yeah, <laughs> it was on the cauldron map, which is a one v one we haven't we haven't shown before, Ready. and we yes. will definitely focus on one v ones a little more in the future. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can see me expanding to the middle with the stone production. That's necessary at this point. You can see, you, you said that I had plenty stone before. You can see that it's not enough. I need a lot of tools. <laughs> I've got 20 tools and I will just run through them. Um, how? I get, I, I get how you'll get 10 tools down. How will you get 20? Well, I need to start researching engineering at the third academy. I've yes, just used that's, that's five tools uh, for the decoy upgrade, upgrade because I expect oh. my enemy to attack as well. They are good. They will eventually maybe try to push. They have to. Yeah. So. And we'll see. Uh, you see Gareth, the blue guy, uh, he actually is creating a lot of army. So mm -hmm. he will be a problem. Mm. Do you think they're trading as well? Did you notice if they're trading? No, I don't think they tra they've traded. Because they did not take their, their gold and they did not trade. Ah, okay, okay. Because you can actually trade, uh, you can see whether the uh, person uh, against you is trading. And we can again see the AoE taking the advantage. Oh, it's just cutting through the enemy. Oh, look at that hole of archers. What happened there? <laughs> 
Very nice. Very nice. Oh, those and those your units. Yeah, you've got some of your your units here as well. Yeah, I left them there. Ah, did you forget forget about them? <laughs> no. All right. No, I, every time I, I heard that they are ta being attacked, I just pulled them back. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm losing some of my units here, and I believe Gareth still didn't turn off his uh, his <laughs> auto cast on these on these towers and decoys, didn't he? Yeah. No, he didn't. Gareth, please. And yeah, this is the crucial moment where I've got 26 of these AOE uh, skills and I can't place them. Let's go. It's a bug. Oh. I can't place them. This is the most important moment in which I've needed them and I couldn't use them. Well, that sucks. Yeah. I want I, to see that. I, I'm losing this battle. I, I shouldn't have done in... You know, this is actually the thing. I don't have any siege units yet. I didn't go for them. I want to have my army exceptionally strong. I want to be able to always defeat the enemy mm -hmm. troops, but I'm not ready to defeat the enemy's buildings. Yeah. Yeah, and my army, even though there, there are like maybe 30 of my units, they are not helping you. I did not send them in mm. uh, because they should be defending you. I didn't. Oh, I have the range upgrade, apparently. Yeah, you've got this. Got it. Well, ah, yeah, it, was, it, it was the moment where I said, uh, where you said that you want to finish it, and I was like, well, no, not yet, I want the resource. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, actually, this is, we are in a 1 hour and 21st minute, 20 second. So, we're very long game. Yeah, very, very long in. Yeah. And if you're wondering, or if you're feeling like this ranged upgrade, the fact that uh, uh, Shumi's, uh, Shumi's elementalists can. Uh, attack enemies uh, towers from this far uh, and can't be affected by the tower uh, if you feel like it's too op or too strong it is actually not if you if you are a good def defender you are macroing your archers and you you can very quickly get rid of these uh, using your archers yes but also they, uh, this upgrade is necessary i think mm. because if uh, there is a person who goes for just towers mm -hmm. You so somehow have nothing to do against them. The, those are yeah. the only units that will allow you to still win the game. You, you I saw this this far away bar barracks and I was like, well, mm, yeah. that has to oh, go. Yeah. That's lovely. That's <laughs> awesome. That's all due to the ranged upgrade. Yeah. yeah. But uh, you don't necessarily... I think you can push through a lot of towers with, uh, with the gold. Uh, Siege units as well. If you actually research the siege damage, uh, you can boost the siege damage by 40%, I believe. Yeah. Uh, yes, that's true. Uh, so uh, not upgraded, just just life upgraded, the normal upgrade oh, yeah. upgrades, and, let's say. Yeah. And you uh, can see you can see the outcome of me going underneath these yeah. towers. I'm gonna I'm gonna um, probably I finished this one. I finished that one, but I'm gonna lose it. Is it going to happen? I think it's going to happen. Mm, I, I uh, so uh, let, 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 before that happens, let me finish saying. Uh, mm -hmm. So you need five of those uh, siege units, these uh, these small siege units, gold siege units, uh, to destroy a tower. You will lose one of them. Maybe you could do it with four. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. I didn't know that. Interesting. You've got these calculations in your head. It's awesome. Uh, because that's what I just checked in this game. Oh, I watching see. Right now. Oh, I see. I see. <laughs> Enemy I actually did not calculate. Enemy so uh, recently we finally got the calculation of how much damage does a normal unit do in siege or, and how much uh, health do, do buildings have. Mm. We did not get the health of towers nor the decoys nor the warehouse yet. Yeah. Um, so the, there is still stuff that we do, don't know but we, we are smarter now. We know that the units do 12.5 mm -hmm. damage but not really. Uh, asterisk. Um, yeah. See, that's what I'm I was talking about. I've got a few archers and they are always rushing in if the enemy goes in with these elementalists. And I will just not let yeah. them. Oh yeah, and here you can see what what research taunts <laughs> and research towers do. Look at the range of the taunt. It's double the usual amount. The enemy is slowed. It is under uh, well-researched abilities from the towers and and the research of the towers, by the way, it's not even finished. You can al also have them attack at uh, triple the amount of the phase they're attacking li right now. Uh, at the speed, yes. Yeah, speed, yeah. Or the pace, yeah, okay. Oh yeah, pace, oh yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. there's my Czech pronunciation. <laughs> with, with an F, yes? Yeah. Very, very Czech. 
<laughs> Enemy oh yeah. So yeah, you could uh, see the, the size Enemy equalized. Inside. I think. Yes. Both. I was just about to say that our our armies are both that. <laughs> We've killed each other. Uh, <laughs> Thirty units from over a hundred. Oh yeah, I also have my fight with I my did, 150 units. Yeah. I didn't even have to build as many towers as Gareth did, because the, the, the research is even more powerful than, than just yes. building that, That's what I wanted to point out in this game. Uh, people, even strong players, they at some point seem to just not know what to do, how to win the game, how to progress in the game. Mm. Like they, uh, Gareth and Brod never uh, went for uh, for a harbor, they That's never the built a second academy, so I think, mm -hmm. I don't know, I feel like they just stopped uh, progressing their everything and just focused on well, good fights and uh, unit production. Yeah, but uh, Brod, the Turkish player here, I believe you've disrupted his uh, military production so many times. For example, you, you're, you're just about to do it once again. And this is, oh, I absolutely love this play. Look at Shumi taking advantage of his uh, special unit's uh, ability. Yes. That's what I wanted Daranix to not spoil. <laughs> I, I did it more than once. <laughs> Yeah, I. Oh, that's just <laughs> awesome. I mean, I'm not sure how about the. No, you can also use the trap ability. I wasn't sure about it in uh, in before because Maru Maru has trappers, right? Uh, their special unit has yeah. traps, and if you have like 30 of them in in the front line and you just set set out these traps and you fall back, you uh, let your your archers attacking. And the enemy is just gonna be stuck. If you do that in a choke point, you win the fight. Mm -hmm. So it is always situational. Shumi's Shumi's use of the ability was also situational in this uh, at this point. And uh, the arbalist is is possible to use in most of the fights, but you need your enemy to actually stack his uh, his units together. So it is it is very situational yet I I think that these uh, these golden special units are really under undermined. They are very expensive. 300 gold is, you can buy a lot of coal and iron for that gold. That uh, is for that money. They are situational. That is true, but then again these <laughs> abilities are exceptionally strong and mm, yeah. I have I have like four to five mints all boosted going and going right mm -hmm. now. So you, I can afford it. Yeah, you it. have the money. <laughs> yeah, you, you have the money. That, yeah. that is right. You, when you have the money, you you can of course do it. Mm -hmm. You see, I I bought some coal. That's why my army production is going amazingly. Yeah, 180 units. Is, is uh, for coal buying, I only used uh, the gold that I've actually traded for. I was selling bread and I was selling flour. Oh, yeah. That that is generally what it, what you trade for. Yeah. Um, I I bought a lot of coal from the money that I've uh, invested. Enemy let's say mm. that that was my first coal that I bought, and I I think that was over thirty or forty units of coal. Mm hmm. Did did you have the the double the howl? Uh, because howl has two stages. No. Uh, what, the first stage lets you boost your units uh, damage. Uh, output by 50% and the second stage gives you 100% uh, bonus. So Shumi only had the 50% bonus, I had 100. Mm -hmm. uh, I need to mention this even though it... Mm, I'm not sure whether it was uh, used in a, mm, in a... All of it was used, but uh, I'm not sure whether all of it was used, but uh, if I'm near a lakeside and near trees with my units on a friendly yeah. Uh, on a friendly territory, my units had 40% from the lakeside damage bonus, 100% from the howl, 20% uh, from uh, the friendly territory, territory and 35% from general damage bonus upgrades. So that's over 200% damage bonus made simply from, from the research. Yeah. And you eventually get to a point in these harder matches where either you or the enemy or both of you get to the population cap, which is 500 settlers. At that point, the the army which is research wins. Period. It doesn't matter whether your macro yeah. better, whether your macro is better. It doesn't matter whether your build is better. If you have hundreds of units. 
they are all research and your enemy isn't researched, you win. Yeah, that's what I meant with uh, saying that some people don't seem to uh, to keep going, to keep progressing, having a plan how to win. Mm -hmm. uh, you seem to know how to win, research is your way to go and it's a good one. Actually, um, um, just I wanted to point, point out, so sorry to interrupt you, this doesn't yep. apply to, to Gareth or Broth necessarily. They they played they've played exceptionally. Yeah. But uh, you can already see that this game is coming to an end uh, because Broth has been pushed through. Uh, he couldn't defend against Shumi's uh, Shumi's ranged ranged bonus. I guess that was the main issue. Uh, although, just spreading some arches on the edge of the cliff would do the do the trick. I don't know why he didn't do so. Kept them, kept them there stationary, or build towers on the cliff. I'm not sure whether you can do that, but I think it would you work. Can. Yes, you can. But I, I can also just try them, right? Mm, you could have, yeah. So the archers yeah. would be a better idea. Yes. Just place a few archers. Um, I, I want to point out. I so if if you watch at my game, I I'm always playing quite tactical. I always have something up my sleeve that my opponents shouldn't have expected. In this fight too, I wasn't sure if I win this one, but I have a few of my uh, trusty berserkers waiting about and <laughs> being ready to jump in. I, I, I hope you showed it. Yeah, I will show it. <laughs> Although if you're wondering where my my troops are, um, I couldn't break through the defenses properly because I didn't have and the siege units yet. I was yeah, starting to, to produce them, okay. but yeah, Shumi was just quicker. Shumi didn't didn't need me to save him in the late game <laughs> this time. <laughs> yeah, my fights are, are uh, quite lackluster quite often because I don't want to lose all of my army. Yeah. Um, and I'm gladly pulling back behind my towers yeah, to yeah. defend more of them to save more of them. Anyway, this match Victory has come to an end. Uh, we. Thank you for watching, our watching people. We will appreciate if you join the community and have some matches with us as well or with anyone within the community. Uh, thank you for watching and we hope to see you next time. And join the next tournament, please.